I've been working from home for almost five months now. If you're like me and would like to get more out of your setup, here are five practical tips that you can do right away without breaking a sweat. Let's start. Good practice number one is to set up alarms. This would help ensure that you don't overwork or underwork. Catch my drift? I use alarms in a lot of things. For break and lunch times in particular, I make sure that my phone is far away from my workstation so I have to physically move away to turn it off and I do not come back until it's over. I find that this helps me create a sharp distinction between work and play. Good practice number two is to write it down. In the corporate world, if it's not documented, it never happened. Make sure you accomplish this real time, like after you're finished with a task, you put it on your report immediately. This helps ensure that you're as detailed as possible and that you do not forget to document everything that you did so your bosses would not have to ask. And also, this would help you with the next day because you could always read yesterday's report to get reminded of what needs to be done today. Good practice number three is to be proactive. Instead of having your bosses or other departments ask how you are doing, provide them the updates yourself once you're done with the tasks, of course. This would give a very good impression that you're always on top of things. And in case you do not appreciate this tip enough, I actually got noticed by a director because of this. For those of you who are not aware of the call center hierarchy, we have the usual agents who are taking calls and then a supervisor, and then an assistant manager. That's me, that's what my position is based on the cl uh, classification. And then I would have a manager, a senior manager, and a director. So, the boss of the boss of my boss noticed me for being proactive. I'll give you a few seconds to let that sink in. Good practice number four is to seek help. Be mindful when you're taking too much time in solving any particular problem. Do not have second thoughts in making that phone call or sending that message or chat to your peers and of course your immediate supervisor. When working from home, a video call is the closest thing to an actual conversation. Make sure you have the platform that is required by your company or if not, make sure you utilize all platforms available to you to communicate your challenges real time. The most popular ones are Facebook Messenger, Viber, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams. Good practice number five is to use your tools. Just like how a chef has his knife and a carpenter has his hammer, home-based employees have their software. The number of tools you'll have will vary based on your profession. As a curriculum developer, my main tools would be Microsoft Office, just like most of you. Now, I make sure to note those repetitive tasks that I do on a daily basis and continuously find ways to improve how I do them. I know it all sounds fancy, but what I'm really just talking about is a Google search. Like literally, the internet is an overlooked resource. Every information we need is most likely a Google search away. So make sure to take advantage of that. Let's have a review. The five good work from home practices that you could do right away are set up alarms, write it down, be proactive, seek help, and use your tools. Did you like the video? Let me know by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also share what you think in the comments. And if you would like to see more videos like this, you may hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. So thank you for watching and have a great day.